Welcome to part two of VCC Library's video tutorial on Ovid Medline. In this video, we will supplement our subject headings with keywords, combine prior searches using operators like OR and AND, and finally learn how to filter, view, and save our results. In part one, we translated two concepts from our research question into subject headings, pain management and hypnosis, which we can see in our search history. Now we can begin supplementing our subject headings with keywords. But first, why add keywords to our search? Well, subject headings are an excellent tool for finding relevant results because they're consistent terms applied to records throughout the entire database. But only using subject headings in your search can mean missing out on useful results because subject headings only search the subject field of a record, whereas a keyword search will search anything subject, title, author, abstract, sometimes even the full text of the article. Okay, let's identify synonyms for our key concepts. For our first concept, hypnosis, we can try a keyword search for hypnotherapy. I'll type hypnotherapy into the search box, uncheck map term to subject heading, and then click search. Hypnotherapy.mp appears in our search history. MP is a code that tells us we've performed a keyword search. Within the square brackets, we can see all the fields included in the search. If we want to specify exactly which fields to search, we can do so by navigating to the search fields tab. But for this example, we'll just stick to the defaults. Now, let's perform the same process with the concept pain management. I'll type pain relief into the search box and then click search. Painrelief.mp is the latest entry in our search history. We could continue performing keyword searches. For example, we could search for pain control, analgesia, and so on. But in the interest of time, I'm going to move on and start combining our searches. First, we'll create a search string that combines both searches expressing the concept hypnosis. Check the box next to the subject heading and the keyword search, and then click combine with or. A new entry appears in our search history reflecting the combined search. Now we'll repeat the process for the concept pain management. Check the box next to the relevant searches. Click combine with or. Great. We have successfully created a full search string for each concept, complete with keywords and subject headings. Now it's time to combine the two search strings using combine with and. Okay, our search has retrieved 366 results, which we can scroll down to view. We can find filters on the left-hand side of the screen, including publication year, journal, publication type, and more. We can also filter our search further using limits that we can find directly under the search box. Select the relevant search from your search history. Then select the limit you want to apply. I'll choose full text and then click search. A new line appears in our search history reflecting the limit applied to our previous search. Notice that restricting our search to full text only dramatically reduces our results. Remember, if the full text of an article is not available via Ovid Medline, you may very well be able to find it through another database or access it through an interlibrary loan. So let's remove the full text filter. We can go back to our previous unfiltered results by clicking display results to the right of the appropriate entry. Click the title of an article to view more information. If available, we can read the full text of the article in our browser. We can also download the article as a PDF. Other useful tools include Cite, 
click email jumpstart or email PDF jumpstart to find uh, permalinks to the article. We can also save the article to a folder by clicking add to my projects, which will prompt us to log into an existing Ovid account or create a new account. I'll just click back for now. We can return to our results by clicking back to search results. And finally, to save a search, select one of the options underneath the search history, such as save all, email all search history, or copy search history link.